We have start of the week by sweeping our double play each of the last two days. Unfortunately, we've lost our best bet both days. But today, I can feel it. It's going to be a 3-0 and sweep. 4-2 and ain't bad. It's 67% if uh, the math serves me correct. Let me bring in live from training camp, Mark Zinno on assignment today. Wow, well, look at you, buddy. Uh, yeah, great to listen. have you here on the show. And uh, I know... I don't know if, if has Michael Penix passed Kirk Cousins on the depth chart already. I don't know. No. But I know that you do think the New York Yankees are going to pass their team total today, uh, a team, another team near and dear to your heart. No, yeah, out here today at Falcons training camp, I got a chance to uh, have a morning chat with Raheem Morris as he walked in. So that was uh, that was the, the good start to my morning here. But a lot of expectations for the Falcons. That said, a lot of expectations for the Yankees as well. I mean, I, I hate to do this to everybody here, BP. But I'm using the Brian Power handicap method here. Are the Yankees not going to score five runs again against the worst bullpen in baseball, against the worst starting staff in baseball? Like, that's really about all I got. I mean, they scored two runs in the first game, four runs in the next game. Like, at some point in time, this offense has to wake up against this team, right? Like, there's just – I get the numbers at five and a half, right? And it's a bigger number than we're normally used to, but they have to be able to score. Yeah, there's just no way they cannot continue to put up these few runs against this bad ball club. So uh, for my money today, we look at the Yankees going up against the Chicago White Sox. And as long as they can get into the bullpen early, uh, I think this should be fine. I, I, I don't really have many, many reservations about the Yankees getting over this number. If they don't, the Yankees should have more reservations about anything because um, Davis Martin, uh, not related by any way to Drew Martin, uh, it's not expected to be in this game long. So, uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, uh, Davis Martin pitches, Drew Martin bets. Either way, the Yankees score six runs. Love Drew Martin bets. Love the play. I bet a lot of the people out there watching love that play too. Yankees team total. If you're rolling with Zeno, smash that like button. Uh, I've got a bit of an ugly one here as I turn to the uh, other end of the spectrum in Major League Baseball. How about the Rockies' first five plus half a run? Now, okay, Arizona we know is one of the hottest teams in baseball. They've won nine of ten. More on that in a second. But the Rockies have been up by three runs each of the first two games in the series. You know, they've been ahead after five innings in both. And the key to the handicap here is we are getting to fade Arizona's worst starter, Jordan Montgomery, who, say it with me, absolutely stinks. Ass. It was, oh. yes, it was <laughs> last time out. What did we do, Mark? You and I both faded him successfully i may add that was arizona's only loss in their last 10 games now it was against the phillies obviously the phillies are much better than the rockies but i just went through that the rockies have been you know they've been doing quite well against arizona starting pitching in this series quite frankly they should have won the first two games it was back-to-back -back wild pitches that cost them monday they were one out away from winning last night i do want to leave this rockies bullpen out of the equation but i love mm -hmm. the idea of fading montgomery mark 6.37 ERA and 1.68 whip for the year. The fact Arizona has a winning record with him on the mound is just completely fraudulent. And Montgomery's numbers on the road, we've talked about this before, or pardon me, at home, at home, his numbers are horrible. 8.14 ERA and 2.05 whip. He's worse in the daytime. This is a daytime start, 340 Eastern. Oh, by the way, Colorado rookie starter Tanner Gordon, he had a career high 7Ks against the Braves. Last time out, they didn't like that where you're at, but he's a bigger underdog now against Arizona. Don't agree with that. Give me the half run in my back pocket in the first five with Colorado. That is my half of the double play to go along with Zitto, who has taken the team total over with the Yankees. Now we'll be getting to our best bet just uh, in a moment. Please, by the way, drop uh, your favorite bets for Wednesday in Major League Baseball down below in the comment section. The comment section has been out of control here on the uh, program here on YouTube uh, the last few days. We absolutely love it. This is the number one show, Mark, on the Wager Talk YouTube channel, uh, unofficially at least. <laughs> no, I, I think it's quite official right now. I, I feel like okay. we have uh, it, we, we're taking it by force. Put it this way: we we have just decided that. Uh, we will stand alone atop of the summit of Wager Talk TV. Uh, you're kind of jacked, by the way. I don't know if you know that, man. You're looking, uh, <laughs> you're looking ready to roll. You're looking, oh, you. you're looking. Oh, wow! I, I don't know if that was for your physical condition. I don't I, know if the powers that I, be are telling I, us I to keep our ego in check. 
I like to remind the NFL players like who the real muscular guys are. Oh, okay. I see. Would you like to remind our viewers uh, who has been red hot in Major League Baseball? Because it is you. That that would be I. That would be I. Uh, 15 and 3. Went one on one yesterday with the split. Why? Because Trevor Rogers is a eunuch. That's why we went one on one with the split. But the Red Sox got us home. Um, and, and listen, this is just in. Trevor Rogers is bad in both leagues, national and American. Uh, just did not go well from the start. So apologies to all who tailed. We'll get back at it uh, once again today. But again, that 15 and three run still intact, and we are still running very hot in Major League Baseball at this time. Up over 30 units since the beginning of August. So. Let's keep it going tonight. We already have one playoff. I, I may even get as many as three today up on the site, guys. I, I'm, I've had extensive conversations with Brian Power this morning, asking, begging, mm-hmm. just just hoping he will talk me out of going way too crazy today. But um, because we learned this yesterday, and full disclosure, BP and I talked, and I wanted to bet the Phillies yesterday. I wanted to bet the Mets. And sometimes the bet that you don't make is the best bet to make. And I stayed off of both of them, thank God, because neither one came in. So – We'll continue to practice a little bit of discipline here. Anyway, long story short, wt.buzz slash mz. We'll at least have two plays up today, maybe get to a third. I won my only play on Tuesday. It was a very easy winner, by the way, with the Dodgers' first five. They rolled the Brewers. I've got two plays for today. One of them I just gave you. It's that Rockies' first five run line. The other one, you'll have to head to my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Only $15. It is a team total. The last time I released a team total, Mark, that was on Monday. Play cash in the second inning with the Twins over four and a half. I think this one has the potential to do the same. Don't forget about that seven-day special, by the way, just $69. It's like getting four days free. Soccer season right around the corner for yours truly. I'm looking forward to it. I talked about all my accolades yesterday. Number one in EPL, number one in La Liga, number one in Serie A last season at Wager Talk. 33-14-2 and two run on the pitch, including a perfect 8-0, my last eight in the EPL. Enough about that. Let's return to the diamond with our best bet, Mark, for today. It is a watershed day on the program. I have to say this, okay? Because, and I'm surprised you were on board with this because I, I know you don't want to jinx uh, it, but no, I, know. I am looking I am looking at the standings page, okay, yes. for Major League Baseball. Oh, yes. my God. The 59-61 and 61 Cincinnati Reds with their plus 48 run differential are oh, now boy. just one win away from tying the St. Louis Cardinals with their hideous minus 56 run differential for second place in the division. Today is the day it can all happen. The laws of math can be justified. Sir Isaac Newton will be smiling down on us. I promised my daughter. No, hold on a second. Sir Sir Isaac Newton has nothing to do with run differential. His laws of physics and and gravity have nothing to do with run differential. Nothing? Okay, well, Joe Ranieri might throw an apple at me anyway. He'd enjoy that. Uh, Anyway, I have promised my daughter, who turned seven years old today, by the way. Happy birthday. Happy Uh, birthday, Mr. I will will take her to Skyline Chili, the only Skyline Chili left in the Cleveland area, when the Reds take over second place in this division. Mark Zeno, please tell the five people why they bet the Cincinnati Reds and how they should bet the Cincinnati Reds today. If the Reds take over second place in the division, I will buy your daughter Skyline Chili. So how's that sound? Okay, because I need this. I I need this so badly. I need the Reds to get back to 500 at 61 and 61 after they win this game and then win the next one. And then I have a 40-game sprint for them to finish just two games above 500 to get to 82, and I'm good, right? That's all I need them to do is get to 82 wins. So uh, nonetheless, let's get down to today. Uh, Reds at home against Kyle Gibson, and that's really what we're looking at with this matchup here. Kyle Gibson has a four ERA and a 1.32 whip. Um, you know, his numbers have not been great this year. He's a very hittable pitcher. The Reds' bats continue to run hot. I don't want the, the Cardinals' bullpen involved in this. They have a much better bullpen than the Reds um, this year, and um, they are a team that I want to cut this game in half because, again, if the Reds don't score early, BP, I don't think they're scoring late against the Cardinals. Bullpen. Mm-hmm. I really think that, you know, even if these bullpens, you consider them a wash because the Reds bullpen isn't terrible. But if you consider them a wash without the Reds getting a lead early, they're not going to get it late. So they've got to get ahead of Kyle Gibson. I think they do that here. We get a very manageable number on the first half run line. Keep uh, sorry. First half money line, rather keep that tie in our back pocket. 
which is always, you know, a, a good spot to be in. So mm-hmm. I think we're okay. I think we're on the right side with the Reds winning this game. But let's let's play against the weaker starter here in Kyle Gibson. And if it was 1.32 whip and Reds bats stay hot, they should be good uh, and get a lead after five. Cutting it in half. Reds first five is your show best bet. Hit that like button if you're in agreement with us. Hit that like button if you too like going over your daily caloric allotment with one meal uh, like you do at Skyline <laughs> Chili. Uh, Mark Zeno, I'm sure no one is eating Skyline Chili at Falcons training camp. Thank you for making time for us today. Uh, my favorite part of the day. I know you have to go back to work. I'm off to Cedar Point. So let's play that jingle. A remake of jingle I made. Love a sloppy parlor, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chances high or low. <laughs>